Ebola treatment units are being built as fast as possible. One of them is run by an American relief group, the International Medical Corps. Most of the staff here are Liberian. The stigma of the disease is so great, many of them say they're treated as outcasts when they commute back home every day. But in here, the Americans who work with them call them heroes. This crisis is a global crisis. Whatever resources it takes, we have to be there because it's going to continue to spread if we're not there and it has to be stopped and contained at the source. In West Africa, our troops, our scientists, our doctors, our nurses, our healthcare workers are rolling back Ebola, saving countless lives and stopping the spread of disease. He is Dr. Pranav Shetty of International Medical Corps, and he's treating dozens of patients using the newly stocked pharmacy. Are you going to be the drop-in doctor for every village every day? You're going to provide emergency care. That is the only strategy available at this time to provide emergency service. News overnight is staggering from Nepal after a 7.8 earthquake hit the country yesterday. Our organization, International Medical Corps, is on the ground. We've actually reached Gorkha, the epicenter of the earthquake. We reached Haitia, a village of a thousand people, where we found almost every building destroyed. How did that happen? Paul Arbach, head of emergency medicine at Stanford, and Luan Freya, medical director at Yellowstone National Park, both here with the International Medical Corps. Is it up here? They plan a base camp in the area from which to push higher into the mountains, where the fate of many more remains uncertain. The refugees continue to arrive. There are now 1,200 settlements like this in Lebanon, a quarter of the country's population made up of Syrian refugees. We are with the actress Sienna Miller, an ambassador for International Medical Corps. She is meeting some of the families who have fled over the nearby border with Syria to escape violence. Back to Port-au-Prince and Dr. Leviu Fedrasco of the International Medical Corps. In this 700-bed hospital, there are only four doctors today. Four doctors, one the medical director and a couple of other doctors, because they also suffered from this disaster. They're looking for their families. They're not able to come to work. And some of them probably are dead. So we'll have to, when we establish space here, we'll have to also train doctors, train nurses as we go along. Ten years of fighting are now over, but the scars from one of Africa's bloodiest civil wars still run deep. Into this horror has come a plastic surgeon from Kansas City to remove the children's debilitating stigma. It's a program for America's International Medical Corps, and assisting him is a doctor from Sierra Leone who is training to perform this complicated plastic surgery. Both the doctor's mother and brother were killed during a rebel offensive. And now the people who killed his family could very well end up on his operating table. We just have to welcome them, just to forgive. Even though to forget is very difficult. Why do you do this? Because I love it here. I could just go and take care of people that need to be taken care of. A little malnourished little baby. Is that the way medicine should be? That's the way medicine should be.